Hi, it's Tony here from the Think to Thrive team with this video just for you. During this challenging time to empower, provide resilience tools, practical tools that you can use on a daily basis, the very best way that I can serve. So on today's video, I'm gonna start off first of all by drawing a picture for you. It's kind of like a short little art lesson. And uh, this was something I learned probably when I was about 10 years old. Because you see, I used to love drawing cartoons. I used to absolutely love drawing cartoons and pictures of, of dogs and faces and cats and dogs and spiders and all sorts of things. I, I just love art. But one of the art lessons that I learned, which I, I, I always show children today when I'm teaching, is how to draw an ear. <laughs> you might think, what do you mean how to draw an ear? There's a really simple way to draw an ear on a cartoon. I'm gonna show you now. Um, I'm just gonna hold this piece of paper up. Okay, you ready? So basically, let's say that this was the sort of side of someone's head. Let's say their eyes, this is their, their eye, eye here. The way to draw an ear is like this. First of all, you draw a curve, and then all you draw inside there is the letter T that's slightly curved, and you get an ear. And then you can finish off doing um, the rest of the uh, the rest of the face with obviously the hair on top as well so that's how you draw an ear i'll show you again to draw an ear on a cartoon all you do is you draw curve and then you draw like a little t-shape inside and you get an ear that's not quite a very good one do that again so you draw a curve and a little t-shape like that and you get an ear very very simple way to draw an ear now why have i started off by talking about ears and listening what you're listening to is of absolute paramount importance in terms of how you're going to remain resilient and keep that level of resolve during this time of crisis. What are you listening to? Now clearly, if you're listening to the truth, some information that's gonna empower you, that's gonna be there for your well-being, then that's important. But if you're listening to gossip or negative thoughts or, or chatter that just goes round and round that really isn't doing any good, that's not going to help you stay strong during this time of crisis. Now, when I read a book, when I read a great book, in a sense, that is what I'm listening to, what I'm absorbing. So it's not just about what you may hear uh, on an audible level. It may well be what you're absor abs absorbing in terms of what you're studying, what you're reading, and what you're thinking about. Now, Mike is going to take the second part of this video into a little bit more detail about what he does, how he interprets that idea of controlling uh, what you're listening to, what you're hearing and what, what's going in. He's going to explain a little bit more on how that can empower you during this time. So is he to my right? Is he to my left? We don't know, but Mike Hendricks is now going to take this over. Tony Manning for your success signing up. What would you think if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out of me? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song And I'll try not to sing out a key Ooh, I get by with a little help from my friends So, you know the rest of the words But I'm trying to hear me here And to raise your awareness and understanding About the importance, as Tony mentioned About what is it that you're listening to you know when you listen to a song whether it's the Beatles or the Beastie Boys it's going to make you feel a certain way so it's important that you are being on purpose on what you're listening to not listening to negative things things that are going to put you in that feeling and that vibration of fear and worry and doubt think of inspiring things listen to things that are going to be uplifting and maybe even challenging your current state of thinking but all designed to move you in the directions of your desires. So, listen to negative things. I'm not saying to completely not listen to the news as Tony mentioned, but if you listen to that loop all the time, it's gonna have you in that vibration of fear. Listen to things that lift you up, it might be music. Read a book. I mentioned before about, it's one of my favorite books that I like to read over and over again. And just to orientate my mind, challenge my mind get me thinking in a particular way think, thinking in a way that's going to move me towards what it is i want to experience in my life on that particular day or in the weeks uh, coming ahead so it's important that you are lending your ear in the right direction listen to music 
read books, TED Talks, things like that. They're all gonna inspire you and uplift you and move you in a vibration of feeling good, feeling better, feeling more positive, feeling more optimistic and more hopeful, especially now, especially in this time that we find ourselves in, which is, you know, mad crazy, mad strange, but we are where we are and we've got to do what we can and equip ourselves and listen to videos like these, um, speaking to people who are gonna be inspiring you, uplifting you, that's the right thing that you want to be doing on a regular basis. Okay, I hope you find it of value. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like my singing, if you don't like my singing, give it a thumbs down. But either way, I'm gonna ask, ask you to share it with your, your circle of influence, people that you know um, would benefit from listening to something like this. Okay, until next time, be inspired, be safe. Here's to your success.